Travelling down by boat, we find these underwater mines where some of the finest quality jade is found. The technology used is hardly space age. Miners work in tandem to ensure each other's safety. One stays on land using a crude air pump, which is made of bicycle pumps strapped together. The partner on the other end of the hose is locating boulders underwater. Underwater mining is one of the oldest recorded methods of recovering jade. It's not very surprising, because it's the river that does most of the work. It cuts through the mountains rich in jade on its path, washes the stones and deposits them on the riverbed. The oxidised skin is particularly thin on river jade. Over tens of thousands of years, the river purified the rock by removing altered or damaged areas and rounding the rock. The methods used are almost as ancient as the mines themselves. But jade is not found in large quantities here. Sometimes it takes days to find just one boulder of value. The stretch of the river where jadeite is found is only 15 to 20 miles long. Smoking and dynamite don't go together in most parts of the world, but for these miners lighting explosives with cigarettes is quite normal. Blowing up mountains means taking the risk of destroying valuable boulders but it's the only way to reach jadeite buried deep underneath. These are the mines of Tar Moor, a primary deposit where jadeite is mined in situ, which means that the jade is mined exactly where it was formed about 20 million years ago. The deposits here are found in dikes or veins. It's said anyone who finds a jadeite dike is an instant millionaire. The only problem, of course, is to get the jade out of these deep mines.